Currently, many surgeons recommend that transgender women and transfeminine people stop taking estrogen before they undergo gender affirmation surgery. This is because of the potentially increased risk for blood clots that is caused both by estrogen and by being inactive after surgery. However, it is unclear whether this recommendation is necessary for everyone. Transgender women and non-binary feminine people who are considering surgery should discuss the risks and benefits of discontinuing their estrogen treatment with their surgeon. For some, discontinuing estrogen is no big deal. For others, it can be extremely stressful and cause an increase in dysphoria. For such people, surgical concerns about blood clotting may be manageable using post-operative thromboprophylaxis. This is a type of medical treatment that reduces the risk of clot formation. However, individual risks depend on a number of factors including the type of estrogen, smoking status, type of surgery, and other health concerns. It is important that this be a collaborative conversation with a doctor. For some, discontinuing estrogen treatment may be unavoidable. For others, risks may be managed in other ways. Transgender women and non-binary feminine people taking estrogen treatment should be aware that they will need many of the same screening tests as cisgender women. In particular, they should follow the same screening guidelines for mammograms. This is because their breast cancer risk is much more similar to cisgender women than it is to cisgender men. Research shows that any person with a prostate, including trans women on estrogen, can still get prostate cancer. However, there is currently no consensus on guidelines for how to screen for prostate cancer in this population, and more research is needed in this area.